So here's 4.7, factoring a difference of squares in one variable, basic. So we have to use our difference of squares formula. For the squares, there's two formulas. There's a squared plus b squared, which is prime. You can never factor something when it's a perfect square plus another perfect square. But you also have a squared minus b squared, which does factor into a plus b and a minus b, or vice versa, because we know by the commutative property of multiplication, it doesn't matter which factor you write in the front and which factor you write in the back. So I could have very well have written that that was a minus b first and then a plus b. Okay, that order does not matter. What is going to be the difficult part is figuring out what is being squared in your expression so that you know what to put in the front and what to put in the back. And then as long as one of those has a plus in the middle and the other one has a minus in the middle, you'll get the answer. So essentially what you want to do is first rewrite the expression like this so that you know exactly what to put in the front and what to put in the back of this plus and minus sign. And so what squared gives me 49? That would be a seven. So I'm gonna put seven in the front of each of those parentheses. And then what squared gives me V squared? That would be V. So put a V in the back of each of those parentheses. And this is the factored answer. You can distribute it and multiply it out and then you'll see that it comes out to this expression. Um, that's if you wanted to check your answer. So that's 49 minus 7v, positive 7v, and then minus v squared. These guys cancel, leaving me with 49 minus v squared. Okay, you don't have to check all your answers, but it is helpful to know how to do that so that, for instance, if you're taking a test, you'll know whether or not your answers are correct.